As an adult, we may start to realize that we have certain behavior patterns that have been with us since our childhood, which then sparks the question, well, what does an adult do if they want to let go of some of these destructive behavior patterns that have been adopted since childhood? This is why we work diligently with what's called healthy reparenting or inner child work. Inner child work is not the same as talking about your childhood. That's a good first step, but inner child work is really more about being able to, in a mindful state of consciousness, take our healthy adult self inwards to work with the younger parts of us that got wounded or hurt or ignored or controlled or whatever it was when we were little. Developmentally speaking, when we are young, our brain is the most malleable, the most influential, the most absorbent. So those uh, life experiences, those ways of interacting with our parents that we have when we're very young, they are the strongest imprints and they last the longest. The good news is, thanks to neuroplasticity, we can rewire our brain. It's never too late to make changes, regardless of the childhood that we had, regardless of our perception of our childhood. Doing the inner child work can create an adult who feels more complete and connected through and through, not just wearing an adult mask, but yet feeling like a little person inside. To give an example for what I'm talking about, if I'm the child of a parent who is very hyper anxious, every moment that my parent is showing up in an anxious state, my parent is now teaching me, giving me an imprint in my nervous system of how to be anxious. It's not done maliciously, it's not done intentionally, it's just how the brain and body happen. The clinical term for this is right hemispheric transference. It means nonverbal communication from a right hemisphere of a parent's brain sent through to the right hemisphere of the child's brain. When this happens, these imprints go very deep in the nervous system and they have more power when it comes to emotions, they have more power than any level of intellect or ration that an adult can carry. So that's why oftentimes I'll meet people that are very high functioning adults, very good jobs, yet underneath, if they're honest, there's emotional patterns that go back to childhood that leave them feeling scared, alone, controlled, controlling, whatever it might be, that have an eerie representation, an eerie similarity to what they went through as a child. This is why the inner child work is so important. We do have the ability to rewire our brains. We do have the ability to help integrate the wounded child parts into our healthy adult self. And the best part about that is we end up as an adult feeling confident, capable, and connected to ourself, able to connect to our romantic partner, our family, our professional colleagues, the world at large. Another challenge that, that I come across is that I, dealing with healthy functioning adults, they don't believe or they don't understand why something that happened in their childhood could have anything to do with their current day life. It's so important that we remember through the lens of neuroscience, the right hemisphere of the brain, which houses the emotions, does not know time. It only knows emotions and experiences. So even though our logical brain knows that we're X number of years old, the right brain could imagine that whatever this pain is, this emotional pain, this loneliness, this sadness, whatever it is, it's as if it's happening right now, even though it came from our childhood. This is another place where Helix is very effective at helping adults who want to change create healthy change through integrating hypnotherapy, psychotherapy, sound therapy, a number of different multidisciplinary approaches we're able to help that person learn how to become their own healthy parent. Regardless of our childhood, we always have the option and the opportunity for healthy reparenting. With the right skills, tools, techniques, and guidance, it's not too late to make healthy changes that can stay with you for the rest of your life.